Hey guys, it's Jen, and I am here with another Cut Above uh, layout kit. This is the January kit, so I'm a little bit behind, but um, I'm going to work through January, and then I'll work through February before the end of the month, too, hopefully. But um, the January, so if you haven't seen it before, the Cut Above kits are from Close to My Heart, and they come um, to you each month or you can receive them quarterly. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description so you can check out the details of the subscription, but it is a subscription kit. And it comes with all of the things that you need to create two two-page layouts each month. And so what we have this month are these two layouts. And it comes like with everything is pre-cut so you can put it together quickly and easily. And so I'll show you the pieces that are uh, designed and that come with the kit for this month. Um, so first of all, we have the background papers, which you can see here that they are already printed like this. So you can use it just like how it's printed and just put your photo on here and add a few details. Or you can do what I'm going to do, is I'm going to switch it up to fit what I want to talk about. So there's that one, and then there's this one that has the little bit of pink and red on it. So that's, that one's fun as well. And so you can, so this one's meant to go like this, I believe. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to switch things up. I am going, I have some photos that I'm planning to use. So um, it also comes with photo placeholders. So those are the patterned papers. Let me show you the other things that it comes with. So it comes with um, a sticker sheet and it tells you which layout the stickers go with, but I'm gonna disregard that. Um, and then it comes with little like cutout pieces that you will put uh, on if you're going to follow the instructions. Like some of these are just popped up, so you'll use these squares to pop those up. Um, it comes with some layering pieces and then it comes with this punch out sheet as well. So your title's there, which is fun. And um, just a really great way to get some layouts done quickly. But I am going to switch it up. So I will probably let you, I'm probably going to talk you through my process on one of them. And then I'll just come back at the end of the video with some more projects that I've created using it. So let's get started on the first layout. These are the photos I plan to use. I'm going to make at least two layouts and I'm going to make some cards as well. Um, I'm going to use these two photos of me and my uncle. Yes, my uncle. He is 10 months younger than me and his daughter. I just met her for the first time and so I thought that would be fun to use here. Also, they live in Arizona so I thought the cactus I could use with them. And then also I have these two photos of my cat and I have a little story I want to tell about letting her in more and so I'm going to use the word wild so I let the kit kind of guide me to what photos I wanted to use so even though I don't have photos that kind of fit exactly the the layouts that are created from um, if you create the exact layouts that come from the cut above kit you can still create something fun that will fit for you so that's what I'm going to show you I've also pulled out a bunch of things just random stuff close to my heart stuff that I have that I'm going to probably just add in. I love stamping, so I might add in some stamps. I have some embellishments, and I'll talk you through whatever I use as I use it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by pulling out the things that I know that I want to use, and I'm pretty sure I want to use this for my background. At first, I really, I pulled it because I really loved the blue and the way that it pulled in my cardigan, and I know that I want to use the word hooray. And I thought maybe hooray for today would be my title, but I end up only using the word hooray and I mix it with some other stuff. So what I decide to do is to mount my photo onto that blue piece, or at least that's what I think I'm going to do. And then as I was placing it there, I realized I kind of want that scallop. So I just took some scissors and I'm cutting out that scallop. I'm not doing a, a very good job. Um... But what I decide to do is cut that scallop off. I'll use that on another layout. And I'm going to use this pink and the blue part on this page. And to make it look a little bit less like scalloped and more of just a torn edge so it looks a little bit more natural, I just tear that off and it covers up the, the little arrow there. And I'm going to cut that out so I can use it on another layout if I want to. And then basically what I'm left with is just the plus signs and the journaling lines on the background from the original paper and I'm covering up the other half with with this paper. So I did um, mix those the papers from both layouts there. So at first I thought I was going to 
put my journaling at the top and put my photos on the left hand side. But I decided that I kind of wanted the word hooray to rest on top of the photos so it didn't have to stack. I just wanted it to go straight across and so I ended up switching it. And here you can see I'm laying it out again. I think that looks pretty good. I'm also thinking about adding some of that scallop to the right hand side, but I decide against it. But I do want to mount my photos so that they have a white border. And so I'm just using the photo placeholders because I don't need the photo placeholders. And I'm using those to map my uh, three by four photos with just a thin border of white. And I love having a white border on my photos. So there they are. I'm going to overlap them slightly so they kind of rest on that blue as a photo mat. And now I'm going to play around with some of the other elements here. Now I knew I wanted to use that uh, little cactus because uh, this took place in Arizona and it just kind of fit the feel of it. And I decided to use the word child because this is the first time I had met my little cousin. That is my uncle in the photo. And uh, she... I, I just decided to make it, hooray, uh, I finally got to meet this child. So, because I knew I wasn't going to use wild child because I wanted to use the word wild on another layout. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do the rest of the title between the words hooray and child. And I kind of decided, at first I was going to use those little blue tile alphabet stickers, but I decided instead to use this alphabet that comes with the letterboard stamp set. It's a nice versatile alphabet and I'm going to use pixie ink to stamp it because uh, of the pink on the lined background on the right hand side as well as the pink below the cactus. And so I'm just stamping this on that leftover bit of, of um, the, the white papers that I used to mount my photos. And I'm just, this actually, I was just trying to test it out first because I had planned on stamping it on the background of the layout, but I end up just using this, this piece that I stamped so I didn't have to do it again. And I really like the way it turned out. I'll show you in a minute here kind of what I do. Actually, maybe I do stamp it twice because... I wanted to, no, I didn't. I wanted to make it look like it was, it had, um, like it was a banner. And so I'm going to put a little dovetail on either end just so that it can look like a banner. And you'll see how I make it look even more so in a second. So what I'm doing now is I just have squares and I'm cutting a banner edge into that. And I just cut the other sides straight. And then that banner edge is going to go beneath the little title pieces and you can kind of see it resting there on the blue how it how it will look and you'll see that closer up in the in the photos at the end as well so i decided to use that little cloud there i'm kind of making a scene because of the cactus and so i felt like it worked to put the clouds up there i thought about adding that little banner piece behind the word child and i actually think it looked really cute but i didn't have a second one and so i decided against it and now I am taking out some of these stars. I really wanted to fill one of the O's in hooray with a shape, but it just felt weird because I, I felt like I needed it in both shapes. And then when I put something in both shapes, it looked like eyeballs. Um, I know Jana Eubank did a layout with using this uh, the same kit and she put something in all of the letters and she also used for today and that th both of those words had O's too. And I feel like that worked better. Uh, but for this instance, it just didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. So I'm just, I tried to stick with all of the layouts that I created using this, uh, this kit. I tried to stick with, if I added any embellishments, I tried to stick with just a few and stamp sets too. So that if you wanted to do something similar, you don't have to, to get a whole bunch of stuff to do it. And so I'm just using the stickers from... Now I'm going to forget what that collection is called, but um, that you can see on the left hand side there. It might be I Love Color or something like that. And I used that and then I used my that stamp set that I showed you at the beginning, the, the letterboard stamp set. And I used those throughout the layouts. And what I'm doing now is I'm outlining these little 
banner pieces because they're white on white. I just wanted to give them a little definition. And because the sticker that has the word child on it has an outline around it, I felt like it, it worked well to do that. And so I am doing that with just my black Muji pen. And then I am adhering those down with some thin foam adhesive. And when I place the little banner piece, I'm just putting it a little bit um, below the, I don't know if you can tell, but it it's a little offset from the, the little piece that has all the words on it. Sorry, words are not finding my brain today. <laughs> So if I seem a little bit disjointed, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the cloud down and I'm kind of thinking like, do I need another cloud? What do I need here? I really like the way that um, that little piece that says the best day looks and that came from this uh, the sticker and die cut pieces that are off to the left hand side as well. And what I want to do now is pull in a few different phrase stickers here. And I'm just pulling from the colors that I already have going on in the layout. I'm also going to stamp my date. And I just used black ink for that. And now these little pieces I am going to try to scatter around. There's some circles. Most of them are from that same sticker and chipboard set. And... I'm thinking I need a little bit more yellow somewhere and I'm also trying to figure out like there's that weird space under the word child. Do I need to fill that? I was just, I couldn't quite decide what I wanted to do there. And so um, I'm just playing around with some other things. I had pulled out this chipboard set to use for um, another layout that I'm doing, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. But I decide against it. And then I really love these little cactus sets that I have from um, the new catalog as well. And I'm going to use this one. I think it's called, I don't know what it's called, but I will link to it in the video description. <laughs> um, but I'm going to use the one that has the little aloe vera plant and it has some uh, kind of card making phrases. And I'm going to stamp the pot or the base of it in yellow. That's going to bring in some of that yellow for me and that's canary ink. And then I'm going to stamp the actual leaves. I don't have a green ink that quite matches what I wanted and so I used mowed lawn in my uh, distress ink. It's hard to see but on the sticker with the cactus on it, it has little gray lines for the cactus and so I'm going to recreate those with a gray pen on my stamped piece just so it looks like it matches that other piece and um, I also drew a line for the the plant and I also um, you can kind of I just covered it up but I stamped a little pink heart and I'm going to cut that out and put it on the front of that cactus that pot there it's actually I think a little succulent but it's really really cute and I like the way that turned out a lot so that's going to go next to the word child and I'm just going to pop it up on some foam and that kind of brings in that cactus and it also helps to bring the colors up to that side of the page so I'm just going to glue down these circles real quick and I know that the video cut out on me right before I finished the layout but I'm going to come back and talk to you about all of them. I do end up stamping grow girl uh, underneath the word child in this bluebird ink and then I think that finishes this layout up. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I ended up with. So as you recall, um, this was the Cut Above layout kit called Something Fierce. And this, these are the two layouts that it included everything to create. Now rather than creating these, I just created my own projects. And I ended up creating three layouts and two cards. And I'll show you those in just a second. But first I wanted to show you kind of what I ended up with left over. And so... Um, this is the sticker sheet and you can see that I just have one, two stickers left. There's a little star and a little banner and I used up everything else. You'll notice I even cut out some of these letters and I'll show you in a minute what I used those for. Um, but I have just two stickers left and then from the like sheet of punch apart die cut kind of shapes I have the word for or fro <laughs> and a star. 
and um, that's all I'm left with of that. Now, as far as the, um, I have some photo placeholders left. There were some pre-cut little square shapes, and I used some of them. Um, I think I lost the two blue ones. Anyway, I, you can see I like cut some grass out of this one. Uh, so I I used those and then these were the like pre-cut layering pieces I was going to use this one and then it ended up not being right so I've tore it off um, But I still have that blue piece and then these are like the rest of the backgrounds that I ended up cutting up and so um, You'll see in a minute what I mean here and I'll show you the layouts in the order that I created them so the first one I did the process video for which you just watched and that was this layout here. So I took one of the background papers, which is essentially is this paper, and cut it in half and used, well I didn't cut it in half, it was like this, and then I cut off this part and ripped the edge. And um, so I used this and then I layered it on top of the background of the other, of one of the other layouts. So it's layered on top of this background, which I cut this piece out of so I could use it if I wanted to. And so this is just pieced together uh, and I wanted those journaling lines and this little kind of um, chicken wire texture. I just think I love that texture. So what I ended up adding to these kits, I tried to keep it pretty minimal so that if you wanted to add stuff you could see that you didn't have to add a ton, but I added a couple of stamp sets and some um, the what is this called? I think it's Better Together or something like that. Um, the stickers and, and uh, chipboard pieces from this collection as well as uh, this stamp set letterboard and So Much Happy. And I added this specifically because I wanted to make a coordinating embellishment, which you saw me make, and then, um, of course, some stamp sets. So uh, that's how that one turned out, and I really like the way it turned out, and I love the addition of the lagoon um, this and the glacier. Those two colors, I think, help really pop this. And so you can see how you could switch things up. Um, for this is crooked and it's kind of bothering me, but um, you can switch things up even though the layouts are very bright pink and then blue and green. You can switch it up definitely just by adding in an additional color. And I love the pop of yellow too, which matches my photos. All right, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> the second layout that I created was the one that I showed you. Uh, the pictures of my cat at the beginning and basically what I did was I took the leftover uh, little pink piece from the first page that I cut off from here and I used it as a layer uh, underneath my photos. These gray pieces were layering pieces that were in the kit already. Um, they were already cut this size and then this dark gray piece I cut from the background of this piece so it was this this was already printed on the background so I cut that out from the background and then I just layered those up behind my photos I used the circle that was one of the um, stickers and I used that that and cut it in half and put it on either side of my photos um, this was one of the punch out pieces so it was this and the stars were either the punch outs or they were stickers and so the word wild was part of this title, Wild Child. But since I used the word child on my first layout, um, I wanted to use the wi word wild in conjunction with my cat. And so I decided to just make my own letters with some one of the black pieces that you could cut out. I, I cut um, the word cat out of one of those black squares. And I just kind of mimicked these letters. And because the letters weren't perfect when I cut them out, I end up roughing up the edges so that they both look like they matched. And I think that you can't even tell that they're different. They look really good. Um, and part of the re the way that I did that was I showed you on this, this piece, I cut some of the letters out to help me with the shape um, when I was cutting out these letters, even though they weren't the same. Like I used the D as a template for a C and just used this part and the the W helped me with the shape of the A and I just wanted to get the kind of same sort of shaping of these letters 
Um, and so that's kind of how I did that. And I just drew some lines underneath and did my journaling with a gray pen. Uh, there's a couple of, this little sticker is actually from this set. Uh, I think I used one other thing from this set in, in the layouts, but uh, you definitely wouldn't have to. I want to just uh, make it clear that you could uh, use very minimal supplies um, in addition to what you're given. But the thing that I did add that's obvious are these little cats. And I don't scrapbook my cat very often, and I have a lot of cat embellishments, so these are just from a crepe paper, I think it's Cute Girl collection. And so I just used all three of them here, and they matched the colors great, and I loved the way that they looked. And then these little word strips are from uh, the stickers that I just showed you here from those. So I really am happy with the way that one turned out. I think it's really cute. I I really like these first two layouts. The third layout is not my favorite, but you know. <laughs> Let me just show you what I did. So this is the third layout. I knew I wanted to use one of those triangular pieces that was on uh, that was on these uh, layouts that, that was printed on the background. So I cut this one out and I used it as kind of an arrow pointing to my daughter. I have this large photo printed, I think it was a 6 by 10 um, and so it is a large for format photo and what I ended up doing was just pointing to my daughter um, and then I used the word today in my title because there was that title hooray for today so I was just left over with the word for after the three titles I created. I used the stars and then I used the um, where did that stamp set go? I used this stamp set throughout, so you can see I used it for subtitling on all three of my layouts, uh, the letterboard alphabet. It's just a nice alphabet, so even if you don't use the letterboard, the alphabet's awesome. But I did use the letterboard here. I stamped it twice. Once in, I think this was, let's see, Pewter Ink from Close to My Heart, and then this is Glacier. And I stamped... Uh, the glacier several times so I could get it darker and um, and then I just cut out the middle piece and, and glued it to the back of the one that I stamped in the pewter but um, and then I stamped today you showed your strength and so that's like my main title but I also wanted to put what this hike or what this was, photo was about because I'm talking about how I love seeing her interact with her peers and how she's just a good person and um, but I also wanted to make clear where it was and so I stamped this as well and it's sort of large this could have been the title but I stamped it in gray so that your eye is drawn more to this one so you see that first but this is like kind of it kind of has two titles um, and after I had added all of the things that I felt like I wanted to add that came in the kit um, I felt like I was still missing something and so I decided to go into my stash and I found some chipboard pieces and these are from also the crepe paper cute girl and um, little you collection chipboard sheets and so those, that's just a few things I felt like I needed some more icons like something to make it feel outdoorsy so the clouds came in and then I also went to some pink fresh studio puffy stickers and uh, these really added what I needed which was a pop of color so I like a monochromatic layout but even more I like a pop of color and so so I added these puffy stickers to just bring in a little bit of that color um, and I really like the way that turned out. This was a, a piece of pattern paper from my stash from Chamel. Um, but anyway, so the rest of it though is uh, from the kit. And then I also created, oh, so if you're wanting to, to know, this alphabet is called Erin's Hand. And you could handwrite this, you could use alphabet stickers, whatever you wanted here. I just um, whatever alphabet you have you could use for that. Anyway, let's take a look at the cards really quickly. So this was the first card I created. I'm actually going to zoom in for the cards real quick. So this is called Birthday Wishes. This is the cute little uh, dinosaur die cut that came in the kit and I just knew I wasn't going to use it on the layout so I decided to put it on a card and I felt like I really wanted to use this portion of the um, patterned paper that was part of this layout here. You can see it's it's this piece here. And so I just cut this into a square 
cut it to four and a quarter by four and a quarter and stuck that on the front of the card with the dinosaur and then I hand cut these little grass pieces out of that little green square that I showed you earlier and then this sticker came from the sticker sheet that I mentioned I had added in before and I stamped birthday wishes this is the other this is the stamp set I included for my cards this is the stamp of the month for January of this year and so I stamped um, birthday wishes I cut it up so that I could stamp it on the two lines and I think it looks really cute like the dinosaur is saying that um, and then the three little puffy hearts are from the so much happy puffy stickers and that's the only place where I used those but um, I thought that was fun so really cute and then the blue piece is from the blue papers that were included as a layering piece so I love the way that card turned out that would be a really cute one for my, one of my nephews or something the other card I created, um, I have mixed feelings about, but I'll share it anyway. Um, this I created using a piece from the background that I cut up. So this green piece was printed directly onto the background. So what I ended up doing was cutting it down so that I could use um, part of the green for the grass. And then this part is, is, the, is the upper part. And I like it because you can see the printing I don't know I wasn't looking at the screen when I was just showing you this so I don't know if you could even see what I was saying but I this is what I cut out and I like it because you can see the little plus signs and the chicken wire on the background of the upper part so this is just one piece the background and I used a sticker from this sticker sheet that I knew I wouldn't use on a layout sometimes those kinds of things are just perfect for cards and then I also used the little um, flower and leaf stickers here and then I used the sending you sunshine and rainbow sentiment and I curved it into a rainbow now my rainbow isn't perfect I didn't plan it out beforehand I just kind of went with it and um, I'm fine with the way it turned out I think it's kind of cute um, and then I just used the um, the die cut from this right here. I cut out one of the clouds and used it as a stencil to put some glacier ink onto the background and then I used my glitter pen, my shimmer, my close to my heart shimmer pen for some sparkle just to add a little bit of sparkliness to this card. Um, I also, I don't know if you can really tell, but I added a shadow underneath the dog with some mink ink which is a very I think I used mink, maybe I used linen, just a very light gray ink just to darken it a little bit underneath the dog so that it looks like he was standing on the grass. So those are the things that I made using the Close to My Heart uh, Cut Above Layout Kit called Something Fierce, which is part of the um, Craft With Heart, is that what it's called? Now I'm forgetting what it's called. Uh, subscription kit. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment in the video um, comment section below and I'm happy to answer that for you and I will try to link to all available products in the video description I'll link to the close to my heart ones as well as the other products that I used so here are a bunch of close-up photos I did forget to mention that I stamped some little pink hearts around on this layout to complete it and I really like the way that it came out um, the hearts added just the right touch and here is that wild cat layout. I think this one turned out really fun as well. I love how different the layouts look from each other using the same uh, month's kit. And here is the last one with the day camp hike. And I added in a few more bits from my stash on that one, but I still have things I could create some more. And then lastly, I have the cards that I created and you can see those here as well. Again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I will link to all available products in the video description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more inspiration using the Craft With Heart kits very soon. Here are some other videos you might enjoy. And if you aren't a subscriber, consider clicking that subscribe button. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon.